Hi folks, Moe's here. Hey, I want to share with you this tree. And this tree is the love of our life, especially during the summer when it's baseball season. Because the baseball bats that are used in professional baseball typically are made from this tree. Do you know what they are? They're, they're the white ash trees. And this beautiful tree right here, well, it was once beautiful, but now it's dead as we go ahead and look up at the branches. Of course, it's fall and all the leaves are off, but this tree is dead. And the reason it is dead is that we have an invasive insect called the emerald ash borer that came into North America, came in through the port of Detroit, Michigan, and in its native country, over across the ocean, there's ash trees over there, and this insect fed on those ash trees, but the ash trees built a resistance. Well, one day, the, the ash, emerald ash borer got into some shipping pallets, and it was shipped over here to the United States, came in through the port of Detroit, ended up on land, and before you know it, those insects found our ash trees. Now, this is a white ash tree. They found them. And what the adults did is they'd come and they'd drill a hole in the bark. And the larva, after the egg hatched, the larva would start eating the inside cambium layer. And they would go the whole way around the tree. And when they did that, the tree would die. Because the nutrients need to flow up and flow down. It's just like our blood vessels. If you close off the blood vessels, we're going to die. That's what happened to the ash tree. If you look up here closely, you can see that after that larva became mature and did all of its eating, right here, you can see that D-shaped hole. And that D-shaped hole is an exit hole. So the adult came out and then it went over to another ash tree and it started to feed on that. And the situation we're at now in the Northeast, in Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, the vast majority of our mature ash trees have died. What in the world are we going to do for baseball bats? Well, they've saved up a lot of ash wood to make baseball bats, but eventually we're going to run out. An alternative bat would be the sugar maple baseball bat. And Barry Bonds, broke the batting record with a sugar maple bat. But after the ball players started using the sugar maple bat, they realized it was more brittle than the ash bat and it broke. So they're really gonna use a prize possession and keep those prize white ash bats. More important than the loss of the baseball bats, the Native Americans who lived in North America they believed that every single plant and every single animal that was on this planet was put here by the Creator for us, either for food, medicine, or religious beliefs. When a woman was pregnant, a Native American, the medicine man or woman would gather the leaves from the white ash plant and make a strong tea and give it to the woman. The woman would drink it. It would speed childbirth and also cut down on the pain. This plant has miracles which we, white men, have not figured out yet. And if we lose all of these white ash trees, perhaps just perhaps the cure for sugar diabetes, for cancer, for Alzheimer's is hidden in this tree, the secrets. If we lose the tree and it becomes extinct, then we've lost a gift that was given to us, for us. This is the Moe's, and if you enjoy learning about nature, click that yes button, that like button. And also, sign up for the subscription. It's free, just like the gifts that were given to us. Thank you. Have a great day.